Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! So, it's 2017 and what do most people do at the start of a new year? That's right, they make New Year's resolutions. Now the last time I did one of these videos was back in 2015 and I failed completely. I did not complete a single New Year's resolution and I always said to myself that I wasn't going to do one because I never seem to be able to keep the resolutions. I always fail within the first month and they just seemed a bit pointless. But the truth of the matter is they're not pointless. My willpower is just so rubbish that I've never been able to keep up the motivation to fulfill these resolutions and that is something I want to change. So in this video I'm going to talk about my New Year's resolutions for 2017. I have my list of resolutions. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resolutions I want to complete by the end of this year. Resolution number one is to write more, at least once a week. Last year, I hardly wrote anything. I hardly wrote in the club that I've been writing for the last five years. I did not do any solo work. And I want to get back into the swing of writing. I have joined a writing society at my university and I'm hoping that will promote writing a bit more and make me want to write a bit more. So one of my goals for 2017 is to write more, even if it's just once a week, a little piece of prose or a little bit extra on a story that I've started or a story that I want to continue. Even if it's just something, I want to at least write once a week. Resolution number two is to read more. Again, last year, I hardly read anything. I think I read a grand total of two books and one of them I know for a fact was the new Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book which came out last year but other than that I hardly read anything last year and I love reading and I have a stack of books about a pile high for me to read but it's finding the time to do it so this year I want to make time to read at least one book a month if I can. Resolution number three is to learn a new skill something I haven't done before my mum recently picked up knitting and it was something she'd done as a child and she's recently got back into doing it and she really enjoys herself she stays up until about two in the morning knitting so I want to find a skill that I really enjoy doing and that I can gain something from whether that be knitting, whether that be origami, whether that be photography, I don't know. But I want to learn a new skill. Resolution number four is to give myself a bedtime and a wake up time. I've found that I've gone to bed very randomly over the past few years. One day I might go to bed at 10 o'clock, another day I might go to bed at 3 in the morning. It varies and I always wake up feeling tired and not ready for the next day. Or I wake up at midday or 11 o'clock where I've wasted half the morning in bed. And I want to stop that. I want to go to bed at a set time and wake up and get up at a set time so I can be more active. Following on from that, resolution number five is to lose weight. Now, my weight has been a problem for me for a while now, and I know it has, and I've tried to lose weight in the past, and never succeeded to get to a weight that I want to be at. So this year, I want to make a conscious effort to lose that weight. And the way I think I'm going to do it is start by doing it in tiny steps. Walk places that I can walk to. Walk down the stairs instead of taking the lift. Become more active. Resolution number six is to be sensible with my money. I find myself spending money all over the place, thinking, oh yeah, I've got loads of money. And then when it comes to doing my accounts, I find that I don't have as much money as I thought I did. So instead of just buying items that I want, 
I want to ask myself the question, do I really need this? Not do I want this, but do I need it? In the hope that I can save up some money. Resolution number seven is to hopefully travel a bit more. Now, I know that might be a bit difficult with me being at university and being a poor student, but it would be nice to see a bit more of the world if I could, whether that be on family holidays or whether that be just traveling around on my own. I want to see a bit more of the world and it would be nice to travel around in my spare time. And my final resolution of 2017 is to YouTube more. Last year, I was a terrible YouTuber. I only really did Christmas Countdown 2016. I didn't make any YouTube vlogs throughout the year. And that was simply because I lost track of time and I don't want that to happen again. I want to be able to YouTube more, even if it's just one video of a week build up my YouTube channel because I really do enjoy making videos for you guys. It's fun and it's something I enjoy doing. It's creative. So that's my New Year's resolutions for 2017. I do hope you'll stick around throughout the year to see if I complete them or not. Let me know in the comments down below what your resolutions are and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.